I did a um, cake decorating wheel and um, if you're right handed you make it spin with your three fingers walking on it to keep it in continuous movement. You never use your thumb because it jars it and it would jerk the plate. Um, I have centred it hopefully so we'll get some um, straight lines going around that hopefully will join up. So to mix your paint, put a bit of paint out, put three drops of water in, mix it up so it's all even and then aim for the middle, get your brush flat, sit down and let it go around and make a circle and then lift your brush off while it's going round and then you won't get any marks hopefully. Then let that dry in, you'll see it dry really quickly as the pottery's absorbing the water out of the paint. Put my brush back on the same space. Let it go around and lift it off. Let's dry it off again. I'll put its third layer on. So I leave that brush out. And is this kind of what you prepare for um, when people come in? Um, do you kind of set all this up for them? Yeah, if they're coming, some people will come for a lesson to use the banding reel. Sometimes I do it as a special um, class and people come book in and come do a session to learn it. It is relatively easy to do but in one sense, but it is quite a, a knack because you're doing one thing with your left hand and something else with your right hand. It's a bit like patting your head and rubbing your tummy. Um, if you keep your hand steady then you can get some fine lines going around as well. Um, we do birthday parties. Uh, one of the packages is uh, plates. So if we can, we'll get the children to use the wheels because it's a good way to put an even coat of paint on. We had a party on um, Saturday afternoon and there were five-year-olds and there was eight of them and we had them banding on the plates. Not necessarily fine lines, but we're getting them to put an even coat on it. And they manage with their tiny little hands. We thought, well, if they don't, we'll pair them off because you can do it in pairs. Obviously one turns the wheel in while you paint your pottery and then swap over, um, <coughs> which works well with them. But um, they, they did really well and then they went on to put stamps and sponge patterns onto their plates so, and their names then of course because <laughs> then it makes it all very personalised and then they can't wait for it to get back next week. They're going to have their tea off it. Um, you can Obviously you can carry on and do the rim, but um, just to give an idea of what you can do as a, a pattern. Uh, let's go for These are Kemper tools, they're just metal um, wires into shapes. You can pat them into the paint, and then you can make a pattern. Sometimes they behave nicely and they'll let you scoop the paint up so you can go on solid. Something like that. Hopefully, that's quite central. Or you can knock the paint out and just have your outline on there. Oops. The thing you have to kind of accept um, with your pottery painting, it is handmade. It's never going to look as pristine as some of the pieces you'll get in the shop. And in the main the pieces in the shop have been made using transfers mm. so they've been yeah. put on top of the glaze and melted in and they can wear off um, and they've been printed out on a computer so that's how they look as perfect as they are whereas something like this you know is um, made by hand so it's got a unique touch to it. Seems like something that would like calm kids down like it's not the sort of thing that you can go running around no, doing. No you can't. It, it, it always makes me laugh in the middle of a party. At first when you explain to the children how to use the paints, how to do the decorating tools, they'll be a bit chatty then they realise they'll have to listen otherwise they're not going to know what to do. And so they'll go really quiet and then they'll have a bit of chat while they're choosing their pottery to paint. And once they get going they're virtually silent and you'll get parents coming. Are they always as quiet as this? Them. And they think there's something wrong, you know. And the thoroughly enjoy themselves. Of course, when you they finish it, and the mums and dads put the party food in front of them, then oh, the voices are back. But you know, kids can only sit so long and not not make a noise. So, uh, but yeah, 
that's all because they use the right side of the brain and once they're using it properly you only think in colours and patterns and so the left side it does all the analytical side of your life and your maths and your schedules and what time you have to be somewhere and what shopping you've got to do it gets switched off because we generally don't use the right side very often once it's there it can only stay there until you flip back over and you're chatting and things that's why sometimes when I'm painting it's hard to talk and <laughs> paint at the same time <laughs> until I get there and <coughs> I have to practice hard to be able to do that otherwise I just it's very, it can be very relaxing get adults come up and say oh, so therapeutic Jane I feel so relaxed you know and, and, and they are they've like you know switched off so there. I see you could leave it like that. Yeah, it looks amazing. Or you could add, keep adding bits. Yeah. Forever, yeah. You know. Some people like minimalistic looks. You could leave it like that. Or you could, there's like one similar up on the wall that's quite busy. You, know, you can keep adding more bits onto it. It just depends on what you want to, to yeah, do on your lovely. design. <laughs>